So for the assessments associated with this unit, what you need to do is use our markdown to generate an HTML document. And it's the HTML document that you need to submit to Blackboard. What I want to do in this video is basically show you how you do that. So first off, we're going to go into our RStudio session and I'm going to be using a version of the script from the second workshop where you plotted the UFO data. So I've got the script uh, already loaded in my uh, sort of R session over here. So ultimately what I want to be able to do is create an R Markdown document which contains um, narrative that I'm writing, the actual code that you see in this script, and then the output associated with me running these various code chunks in the script. So we're going to do that uh, in this video. We're going to start by going up to File, New File, and we're going to select our Markdown. So we're going to give it a title. Um, we can just call it something like UFO uh, Markdown, something like that. Uh, don't put your author name in here. Uh, put your, I don't know, student number. You know, I need to mark these anonymously, so just put your student number, whatever it is. Uh, we're going to ask for the output to be in HTML format. We can actually change that later if we want to, but let's just stick with HTML um, as it's already the default, because um, it's actually the HTML you need to submit anyway. And then we click on OK. So what happens is now over here we've got a R Markdown template document. Okay, So some of it is already populated. Um, we don't actually need any of this stuff. So I tend to just delete from line 11 onwards. Okay, So now what we want to have in this R Markdown document is a blend of uh, text that uh, you know I'm writing um, and then our chunks of our code and the output. So let's have a look to see how this works. Okay, so let's just start with some text. Um, this is my assignment. Um, first, I'm going to, going to load my packages. Okay, and then we need to insert a line of our code now, which is, you know, associated with loading the packages uh, using the library function. So there are two ways to do that. Uh, one way is just to go up here, click on insert and click on R, and you get a code chunk where basically you insert between, in this case lines 14 and 16, the R code that you want to run. Okay, so we're gonna, let's just go back to our script, remind ourselves we need three packages. So I'm just gonna copy lines one to three, and I'm gonna paste them in here. Okay, so our first chunk of code will actually be to run um, you know, these three lines, which will load the three packages using the library call. The second bit of code we then want to add uh, is reading in our data. So let's copy that over. But let's also put a little bit of description in. Um, let's now read in the data. OK, and I said there were different ways of inserting our code chunk. Another way to do it, uh, on um, depending on what computer you have, is press, I think it's command, control I, or alt, control I will actually insert the chunk of code. So we can read down the data, paste it in there. So that bit of code, uh, that code chunk is now going to be reading in the data. So we've got our first plot then, which is this quite long bit of code from line nine onwards. So let's just copy first plot. Uh, let's write something like um, our first plot is next. For your actual assignments, what I'd like to see is a much more detailed narrative uh, explaining the packages that you're using, the functions that you're using in each code chunk. Uh, and for visualizations uh, and data wrangling uh, in particular, what I'd like to see is an explanation as to what the different bits of code are doing. So you'd actually write that explanation up here before you actually get to the code chunk. So there's our first plot. Next, we want to do a bit of data wrangling. So I'm going to combine, let's see, I'm going to combine these two bits of code here. I'm going to copy them. Uh, data wrangling is next. Wrangling is next. Okay, so I've just pasted that in there. Uh, I think then, was it our, I think it's our second plot is next. Second 
what I'll do this next. You can kind of see how I'm building up um, this script using a combination of a uh, narrative that's uh, you know not interpreted as our code, and then our code, uh, which is in this little code chunk here, which is actually interpreted as our code, and it's run as such. So you can think of this as an example of um, what's known as literate programming, where the document you're writing is both human readable, but also computer readable. Um, and by adding lots of narrative, by adding lots of explanation, you're kind of talking the reader through what each bit of code actually does. You've got a document that somebody else, or possibly even yourself actually, at a future point in time could look at uh, and they'd understand what every bit of code, uh, code is actually doing. So we've got our final plot here, which is plot three. So I'm just going to add a little bit of text. Um, so we're going to add all of this together, we're going to run it, and then I'm going to show you a few ways in which we can tidy up our output. Um, and then we're going to add our plots together. Um, this bit of code, we're going to use the um, patchwork um, package. Let's just say here, uh, producing our plots, producing our plots, okay. So that's all of the script uh, now in our markdown document. So what we have to do is go, oops, is go up here and click on the knit button. So let's click on knit and you'll see what happens. Okay, I want to save it somewhere, so let's save it in our project folder. Um, I'm just going to call it knitted, uh, knitted UFOs. Press return. So you see down in here, oh, it's running through the script that's in our markdown document that's giving sort of progress um, as it runs through that. Uh, it's giving us a preview here. So it's actually, if you looked over here on the right, you'll actually see now we've got an HTML document over here. Uh, so we can just click on that. We can open it in our web browser. Uh, and we see our markdown document, our library call, some information here, our other packages, reading in the UFO data, information about that. This code chunk, uh, the wrangling, the wrangling, this other code of uh, building our second plot, our third plot, and then we're adding these plots together in this call here, and we're getting the output printed below. So that's basically um, of what a bog standard uh, our markdown document will look like. We want to tidy it up a little. So if you noticed um, right up at the top, we were given this information here, uh, which is kind of useful, but maybe we don't want it in our final document. So we can actually set some parameters in each chunk, which will turn off things like messages and warnings. So Markdown itself is actually a language, it's a way of formatting text, and our Markdown is kind of the Markdown language combined with aspects of R. So we're going to say we don't want any messages associated with running our library calls. Uh, if you look back at the HTML document that we generated when we read in our data here, we also got some information down here about how the data were read in, so perhaps we don't want that. So let's just turn off messages there as well. Message equal false. Okay. So let's um, let's knit. So just click on knit again. So it runs through the script uh, down here in the bottom right. You're going to see things um, update. Just give that a second or two. Okay. So it's opening the preview. We actually want to open the HTML document itself in our browser. Open the web browser. Let's just make that a little bit bigger, actually, make it easier to read. So now we see uh, we don't have any of the messages printed up here or here. And actually, it's looking a lot better. But it might look better still if we were to add subheadings. So let's do that. Um, and we can add subheadings in our markdown by using the hash or pound symbol. Um, so we use the hash or pound symbol. We use it once for, um, oh, sorry, just clearly can't type and say something different at the same time. So Andrew's assignment. Uh, so we can actually put a subheading in using then two hash uh, or pound signs. Um, this is just to demonstrate this is it. Uh, and say subheading three, subheading 
three. So we can actually do all of these sorts of um, subheadings uh, in our document. We put them at any point. Um, let's build our first plot. So this is just to give you an example. Now, one thing you might have noticed, actually, this is quite useful. If you get into the habit of using R Markdown a lot, you'll probably end up actually finding it easier to do your coding itself in Markdown directly. And you can actually run the separate code chunks uh, individually by clicking this little um, symbol here. So that will actually run those three lines of code. Uh, again, we can read in the data by running those three lines of code. So you can actually have a nice uh, sort of document that you can work with here. Um, and interestingly, our headings and subheadings actually get put here and we can actually jump around our document by um, heading or subheading. So it's quite a nice way of navigating around your document. So let's just have a renet of our Markdown document to see what that actually looks like. So it's going to do, uh, it's going to run through everything again. It's just uh, now it's producing the final uh, visualization, I suspect. So let's just open that HTML document. We're going to open it in the browser. So you can see here, we've now got heading level one, then the second uh, level, and then the third level of heading. So you can add headings and subheadings throughout your document, if you like, to kind of give it a bit of structure and to break it up in a way that sort of helps the reader. But basically, that's what you need to do to uh, produce your HTML document using our Markdown. And it's that HTML document um, I'd like you to submit um, to Blackboard. That's how you're doing the assignment, basically, uh, for this unit. So you submit that HTML document um, directly to uh, Blackboard. And that's what I'll mark. Mm -hmm.